Week 3, Day 4 If your gift is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. The word for show mercy, ilion, means to have compassion on. Jesus used the term in his story of the Good Samaritan as one who does mercy. In a fallen world with sin-hardened hearts, genuine mercy is rare. More commonly, the human race is merciless. For those of us bruised or broken by life's hardships, our own sin or the sin of others, what a sorely needed gift this is. It's a gift that carries with it its own reward. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy, said Jesus. Alongside her gift of leadership, Mother Teresa embodied this gift. Serving the poorest of the poor in Calcutta, she once told of finding an old woman dying in a garbage dump. She spent the last weeks of this woman's life cleaning and caring for her. The dying woman was in emotional agony that her own son had so neglected her. Mother Teresa's focus moved from caring for the woman's body to caring for her soul, guiding her gently to the place where she could extend forgiveness to her estranged son before she died. Few may take their gift of mercy to that level, but a similar passion runs through those like gifted people. They feel genuine compassion for people, seeing the person under the burden, a person who matters to God. They emphasize with hurting people and desire to help the healing process. They are ready to provide sustenance, perspective, stability, tenderness, a listening ear, practical care and or thoughtful advice. They seek to alleviate without superficially plastering over the person's pain, be it physical, emotional, social, mental, spiritual or relational. Yet more than merely wanting to remove pain, they long to help the person to experience God's Father heart and shepherd care in the process of being cared for and to flourish and reach their potential under the love of God. The mercy gifted are not only interested in people's pain, they care for the people themselves. This is the most person-centered of the gifts. As they get involved thoughtfully and empathetically in the life of hurting people, they are often energized, not exhausted. Is there someone in your church with this gift whom you can pray for and celebrate in the next day?